Hey guys, so I already showed you guys how to shop for substitutions. So I showed you what to look for in the supermarkets. Now I'm gonna actually show you what's in my actual fridge, uh, what's in my kitchen, what's in my cabinets. Uh, so hopefully this can just make this a little more obtainable for you and like, you know, not so daunting and just super easy because it is, it's really not that hard. Uh, and that's my job now, I'm gonna make it easy for you. So let's see, what's, let's start with the fridge and see what's in my fridge. So this is what my fridge looks like. Now I'm not perfect, so you know, there's a lot of junk food and there's a lot of fruits because right now I'm not eating sugar. It's been, uh, what is it, what's today? The 27th, 28th. So I've been 27, 28 days without any sugar. So I am definitely getting my sugar fixes here. I keep a lot of fruit. Um, you see, I talked about almond milk. Um, I love almond milk. I use this one for cereal, it's just regular almond milk. But then I use the coconut, almond coconut, for when I make my smoothies because I like it a little bit sweeter. Because again, I have a really serious, mean sweet tooth. Um, I've been learning a lot about cooking with oil and how saturated fat, which is what oil is, is just super hard, uh, bad for you. So if you're like a diabetic or if you have heart disease, you really do want to like limit or omit oil if you can. So that's to say, I use vegetable broth uh, to saute my vegetables now. That's just one way that I'm cutting a bit of oil from my diet. Again, I'm not perfect. I love bread. <laughs> I get silk yogurts because they're dairy free. Um, I, again, I don't like to eat too much soy, especially non-organic, but I, you know, I'm not perfect. I cheat. I definitely cheat. Um, I have vegan tartar sauce. I have peanut butter, which I use with apples and that's a really good snack or celery or really anything uh, on toast. I have two kids and any way that I can cut corners, I love to cut corners. I, I love buying my garlic uh, minced already, which takes me to onions. I also like to buy my onions pre-diced so that when I'm cooking, it's super fast and I just throw everything in the pot. Um, yeah, so here we go. I have a lot of fruit. I have vegan nays. That's going to be your friend. It's mayo without egg, which, you know, it's awesome. I got my backup milks in the back there. I got my red peppers. I got tomatoes. I have carrots, which we eat as a snack, but also I just throw it into stews because, again, I don't want to have to cut anything, so I just throw them just this size in stews. I got all my leafy greens in the back there. I got kale. I've got spinach. I have arugula for salads. I have Tuscan kale for sauteing, which I talked about in the last video. I just discovered this at... Uh, at Trader Joe's. It's pizza dough. I haven't played with it yet. I'm excited to get to that though. But look, it's vegan. It's totally vegan, so that's awesome. Uh, up here, I've got more like, I've got avocado. I always keep avocados. I keep some in the fridge because I know I'm not gonna get to it anytime soon. Um, I've got spinach wraps because I'm a sandwich girl, so I like to definitely get my wraps on. Yesterday I made uh, veggie wraps for my mother and I. Uh, it had carrots, it had red peppers, it had uh, spinach, uh, veganaise, mustard, um, avocados. I had put some uh, microgreens in there. And uh, yeah, uh, peas I love. I love these English peas from Trader Joe's because they're so crunchy and I love texture in my food. Um, and I put it like in every pasta dish ever. And also just any, any time, I just put it in everything. Um, if you're not wanting to eat rice, which I don't see any reason not to, you can try rice cauliflower. And look, you can see how it's like, they made it like, you know, small and grainy like rice. It's super cool. Shishiko peppers, I love to roast these in the oven not really figured out how to do them without oil yet but they're amazing with a little bit of balsamic and soy sauce and whatnot super good um i always keep baby beets in here because i love making beet salads i always keep these steamed lentils from trader joe's in here i also have lentils in the cabinet more for stews this one i like to use more for salads but i'll also throw it in a, uh, on a saute pan and throw in some kale and some potatoes and carrots and stuff like that and just make a nice little uh, one pot dish. Um, oh yeah, these are good, hold on. I'm making a mess, that's okay though. Butternut squash, I love to get everything prepped. I throw these sometimes in with the lentils and the potatoes and the carrots and the kale 
or I use this for my mac and cheese. Um, I will be showing you guys that recipe soon. I don't want to give it away too soon because it's my best thing. Everyone loves it. Um, yeah, I love to keep some cilantro in here just for some extra flavoring and things. Uh, I've talked about this before, the Daya cheese. Pepper Jack, I like to use these to make quesadillas. I also have back here flaxseed meal, which is what I use to make uh, flaxseed eggs. So anytime a recipe calls for eggs, I mix uh, one tablespoon of that with three tablespoons of water, and that equals one egg. I got breast milk, because that's what's happening in my life right now. I got some grapes, because that's part of my sugar fix. Um, behind the grapes, you can see this applesauce. It's organic applesauce. And I use that to sweeten things so that I don't want to use sugar. Um, like oatmeal. I definitely use it in my oatmeal or when I'm making cupcakes and things like that, I use it. Uh, look at this. Better than cream cheese because it is. It's amazing. Okay, I also love this tempeh um, because I found it's like one of the closest things I've come to like the actual texture of meat. And when I'm feeling like I just need that, this is what I get. I think it's super awesome. Um, also, seitan is pretty good too, but I really love tempeh much, much more. Um, I want to talk about this some more because it goes with something that is in my freezer. Let's, hold on, let's move the baby food out of the way. Look at that. Oh my God, these are amazing. I'm going to do a video about this really super soon. I love these burgers. They're uh, Beyond Burgers. Uh, they're made from pea protein, so there's no soy. And they're gluten-free, GMO-free. And look at that thing. Oh man, you could throw this on the grill. You could throw it on the on a skillet. You can just really get your whole entire life with this. And I like to melt that really nice creamy cheese on it, that diet cheese, and it's super good. I always keep a bunch of fruits and a side because I look at me, my sugar fixes, and I uh, I love I love smoothies and smoothie bowls. And also, you can make them really pretty, and I I just they're fun. Um, I pick this. This is a. Uh, cinnamon raisin Ezekiel bread and I toast it uh, in the mornings with the vegan cream cheese and it's a super nice breakfast. Um, this is my breast milk. <laughs> um, this is like a vegetable stir fry uh, which is just again when you just need to make something on the go it's really great just like throw it on a skillet with some, uh, soy sauce or something and then throw it on top of like quinoa or brown rice or something. Um, this Trader Joe's soy creamy chocolate cherry chocolate chip ice cream is life. It's so freaking good. Um, I love keeping pitas because I love hummus. I love this uh, sesame Ezekiel bread. I use it for grilled cheese. I use it for sandwiches. I use it for everything. Again, you have to toast it. Um, I've got this. I can't open it because I, it's frozen and I folded it to freeze it. Uh, to keep space in my freezer, but this is sprouted Ezekiel tortilla, and I love using this to make quesadillas. Oh, and one more thing, just really quick, back to the fridge. Um, so this beefless ground, which I get at Trader Joe's, is wonderful um, for a quick, easy meal. One of the fastest, best meals that I make super frequently, I'm surprised no one's complaining about how much I make it when I'm lazy now, is uh, what I do is I do uh, pasta with marinara and ground beef so it's like it's like it's like pasta with meat sauce so good you just throw it on a uh, you throw it in a skillet with onion and garlic and you let it start to, you know get hot and then you add the sauce and then you throw in some pasta some cooked pasta all right what's in my cabinets let's okay what's in my cabinets let's look into all my cabinets i'll start here um i love all of these um, I love all, I love when I'm lazy. I love throwing this oatmeal on because sometimes I wake up and I feel like I need to just eat before I start, you know, taking care of the kids. And I just throw this <laughs> some hot water on this. But lately, I haven't been using this because I'm not really doing sugar. So I've been making my my own oatmeal. You see up there, I have oatmeal. Uh, I have tahini, which is something that I use for my gravy recipe. And uh, cornstarch is up there too somewhere, and that's also super great. Um, I love keeping chickpeas here because I use them for curry stews. I use them for uh, wraps and sandwiches. I make like a chicken salad with the chickpeas and that's amazing. Jackfruit. 
I talked about, they're selling this at Trader Joe's now for $1.99 and it's amazing. Um, like if I'm making curry chicken or something like that, I, instead of chicken, obviously, I use jackfruit. My mom actually has a stew chicken recipe that she started making and she replaced the chicken with the jackfruit and it, I don't miss it. I don't miss the chicken at all. It's so, so super good. Actually, the thought of chicken now grosses me out. Uh, the refried beans, that's for my quesadillas. I always keep some around because it's another quick and easy meal that I like to make. Um, sometimes I'll take that butternut squash and I'll roast it and I'll throw it on the quesadillas with the beans and with that uh, that shredded cheese that I showed you and um, top it with avocado and salsa. It's amazing. Um, I love this. I keep this for when I make stews. I also keep the coconut cream for when I make stews or when we make like rice and, pe rice and beans. I always have a bunch of peanut butter. I keep coconut oil. I love throwing that in my smoothies when I'm being super bad. Um, I love keeping granola around. We always have granola because I love it uh, in my yogurt, but I also love it when I make my smoothie bowls. It's super good. Um, all my cereals are vegan. This is Nature's Path. It's a brand that I've come across that I super like. I love Raisin Bran. This is like a crunchy cereal. Um, none of my cereals have honey because I, I don't consider that to be vegan. All right, let's see what's in this cabinet. I have my spice rack because spices will become your friend. You're going to start exploring and playing with all kinds of new spices while you're not eating meat to explore different flavors. Um, you know, you might find that when you go vegan, you might think things are bland at first. And so that's going to force you to like start playing with spices. So here's some of the spices that I love. Um, my mother loves using all spice for all her Caribbean dishes and thyme. I love bay leaves, throwing them in my stews. Um, yeah. Oh my God. Turmeric, cumin, and cayenne are about to be your new best friends. Also, smoked paprika, which is in here somewhere. That is my jam. Oh, it's smoked paprika. Yeah, it's back here. And this thing is pretty cool. I love this thing. Yeah. Um, and curry. Curry is always just, you know, a big thing in this house. Um, there's a vegetable broth that I use for my stews, but also for my sauteing now. I just saw that they have this miso ginger broth at Trader Joe's, so I'm going to start playing with this one just to explore a new flavor. I keep breadcrumbs, pancake mix, because, you know, just because I'm a chef doesn't mean I don't want things to be easy most of the time, especially with two babies in the house. I love, I love my grains, and I love my, I love, okay, so here we go. Let's just start here. Chia seed. I use these in smoothies. It's like adding tapioca, but also, also what you can do is you can, what you can do is you can mix chia seed with some almond milk and some maple syrup and let it sit for at least four hours. I like to leave it overnight and in the morning you stir it to make it mix really nice and it's like a nice pudding. And then you can eat that with granola and fruit on top. That's a great breakfast or even a dessert snack. And it actually, if you were to blend it with like cocoa and almond milk, oh my gosh, and then let it sit overnight or like for at least four hours, that's like a nice little chocolate pudding. That's bomb. Throw some like coconut flakes on top. That's a really good snack. Um, farro is one of my favorite grains because I just love things, anything that's like rice. Uh, my whole wheat spaghetti. I have my tri-color quinoa. I got the white quinoa and sprouted quinoa. And I love these things. I love my lentils. I use this for my lentil loaf and I also use it for stews and whatnot. Uh, brown rice pasta. Um, again, when you're eating uh like pastas and grains and stuff like that you really don't want to get anything that's been uh, like refined you don't want anything that's like white pasta or white rice or anything like that you want to definitely do brown rice uh whole wheat pastas whole wheat anything um even my wrap i didn't get like white flour i got spinach you can also get whole wheat wraps those are amazing too uh and what's up here mm. this is all stuff for when i'm making Desserts. I have like all my sugar, I have my brown sugar, I have my coconut sugar, um, I have my cranberry, cane sugar, almond flour, I have my cranberries, I have my currants, which I use for my oatmeal and also for salads. Um, I have cashews up here, which I always keep around just in case I feel like making some kind of cheesy sauce. Uh, I throw these, this is just my sugar fix. Again, there it is. I love these coconut chips. Love these coconut chips. Um, I always keep bananas around for all my smoothies and my bowls. I also want to talk about liquid smoke. 
This is something that I use in my mac and cheese. It's something that I use in my collard greens. It's just something that I use in certain dishes that I, that require like a smokiness that you usually will get from meat. Um, oh my God, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Like when I make my collard greens, it actually smells like, it smells like barbecue, like in the house. It just smells amazing. So liquid smoke is a thebomb.com. I also told you guys about these not beef cubes and uh, not chicken cubes. They're amazing. I just use them like regular bullion cubes. They're wonderful. I hope that giving you guys a peek into my kitchen uh, showed you that it really doesn't look that different from your kitchen and that this can be really super easy. Um, so if you like this video, please go ahead and like it. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please be sure to leave them down in the comments and I will be sure to get back to every one of you. And if you want to see more like this, please be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.